Jonah here. We're back with another homebrew review. And we've got this one today. It's from Dave, oh, the Welsh brewer. Oh, and I'm almost dropping that on the floor. Sorry about that, Dave. And this one's called Dark Hoggett Ale. Um, 5%. And the labels run a little bit. Sorry again, Dave. Now, I've <laughs> some of Dave's other ones have kind of been a bit how shall we say, vigorous, so keeping an eye on it, oh yeah it's coming out, excellent, look at that, we caught that one, I don't know how, I don't know how these get really carbonated, well I do because you put sugar in but why especially Dave's ones, <laughs> we've got to leave it there guys, you know what, Give us, oh fuck me, it's coming out again. Check that bad boy. Look at that, it's coming out loads, man. All oh, my precious beer going down the sink. Look at that. Look at that, Dave, I don't know what you've done, man. Looks a bit like Mount Vesuvius, that's all I know. That is still going. That's crazy stuff. Right, hopefully, guys, we'll get some beer to taste, eh? Okay, guys, so, um, as you can see, that one was very, very lively, and if you look on the side of the glass, you can see there's bits of yeast <laughs> stuck on the side of the glass. This is going to be very, very interesting beer. Um, Dave, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, brother, but... A couple of your brews have been really over carbonated and I'm thinking um, maybe you're adding a little bit too much of the priming sugar. Don't know dude. Other ones of your beers, for everyone that's saying, ah oh, no no no, he's rubbish. Dave makes some gorgeous beers, some really really nice beers. Just seems to be a problem with the carbonation. Anyway, got a finger head on there. Well, we have now anyway. It was like <laughs> it was up here before. <laughs> Look at that colour though. That's really dark, dark ale. Um, almost a porter, I'd say. Um, oh, smell. We're getting a bit of a getting a roasty kind of smell, but we're also getting. Getting a slightly kind of tinny smell. Is this is this a is this a tin a can? Maybe I'm not sure. But I can definitely taste that or smell that roast malt. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, lovely, dark chocolatey. Oh, a little bit of hint of pops at the end, but I'm also getting a treacly sweetness, like it's got some sort of dark treacle in there. Mm. Oh yeah, it's all things dark, all things sweet. Although this is called an ale, I'd say this is a lot more like a stout. Um, yeah, it's a tiny bit dark, tiny bit roast to be a porter. I'd say so. I call this one a stout, Dave. Mm. Oh. Got a bit of a yeasty kind of yeasty thing going on as well. My teeth are getting coated. Mm. I wonder what this would be like if if it hadn't kind of um, all foamed over. And Dave, this one had been in the fridge, chilling down. I think it was at least a week in the fridge, so it wasn't as though it was a warm beer. Um, and it wasn't hugely explosive. It was just the carbonation was pushing it, pushing it out the top. <laughs> Apart from that, that is a very nice stout. Um, I guess I'd call that maybe a dark treacle stout, something along those lines. 
very interesting beer. You can definitely taste a bit of the hops. Um, but this one's all about the, the grains, really is that roast, that dark, that coffee, bit of the sweetness as well, residual sweetness. Very nice beer, if we can just get over the problem with the carbonation. Anyway, guys, this has been Uncle Jonah on another homebrew review. Um, we'll get back to you real soon with more reviews, more wrongness, but hopefully not more explosions. <laughs> Take care, guys. Wow, that's, that's a serious beer.